Ken Lake Campground is friendly, peaceful, and close to the water. Located on the Midwest shore of Kentucky Lake and a perfect spot to enjoy the great outdoors, the campsite is only minutes away from land between the lakes, a 170,000 acre national recreation area. The town of Golden Pond is now completely gone due to the highway and the creation of land between the lakes, but the tribute here at the Golden Pond Visitor Center and Planetarium is a cool look into the area's history. More on Golden Pond later. The Egner's Ferry Bridge was originally built in 1932 and looked very different. The two-lane historic structure was replaced with this four-lane modern design in 2012 thanks to an unusual and unforgettable accident. On January 26, 2012, a cargo vessel took the recreational channel under the bridge rather than the designated shipping channel. The error resulted in the middle section of the bridge collapsing onto the ship. Thankfully, there were no injuries. Kentucky Lake is a desirable fishing area. Records for the largest of three species of fish ever taken in Kentucky have been set at this lake. The white bass, buffalo carp, and yellow perch. What'd you find? I found a beautiful thing right here in the mud. On our first camping trip in Penn Lake Campground in Kentucky. The creation of today's Kentucky Lake began back in the 1920s when frustrations grew with frequent flooding on the Tennessee River causing problems for residents in the Tennessee Valley. Additionally, most rural residents in this region outside of towns didn't have electricity. So efforts began to create a hydroelectric dam somewhere along the Tennessee River in western Kentucky to help solve these problems. Tennessee Valley Authority began constructing the Kentucky Dam in 1938 and completed it in 1944. The reservoir behind the dam became known as Kentucky Lake, stretching 184 miles and covering 160,000 acres. Today, the dam generates electricity for thousands of households in the region. There are plenty of trails in the area, and I was fortunate to hang out with a local who knows them well. After crossing the bridge, we made our way to the Fenton Campground and the beginning of the Central Hardwood Scenic Trail. Having one of the most diverse natural habitats in North America, this area provides ample homes for turkeys, eagles, deer, and so much more. President John F. Kennedy designated the Peninsula Land Between the Lakes National Recreation Area to show how recreational areas could provide economic benefits for the region. Today, visitors can enjoy a multitude of activities in the area. During any season, the Central Hardwood Scenic Trail delivers what the name promises, enough scenic diversity for every palette. Spring and summer provide a colorful array of wildflowers, and cooling shade provided by the lush canopy of the hardwood trees. There's several benefits to letting him go first. One, he knows the trails, so I can kind of see which way he's turning and when he slows down, speeds up. Two, if we meet anybody on the trail, they see him first, kind of gives me time to react and you know, sets everything up. And then three, with him in front, I don't have to worry about any cobwebs strung across the trail.
These are the only two remains of Golden Eye from when they put the highway through. These two concrete blocks. Or steps, as we would call them. I am the king of Golden Eye. On the overlook, you'll find six panels that outline the history of the town and its people. There are photos from those former residents and first-hand accounts of what life was like in the town. They even have the names of everyone who lived there. It's kind of strange to be here in Kentucky and be reminded of Soldotna, Alaska, where I used to run sled dogs. This, is, this area is very much like that, along the power lines, the hills. It's a lot warmer here, though. Good trails. That's good trails. A lot of fun. That will do it for this episode. Next, we're heading to the East Coast to visit more family and we'll have adventures along the way. Hit the subscribe button and join us. Thanks for watching.